Hey everybody, welcome back here. So if you're using a Realme device and if you don't know how you can put your device into the recovery mode for solving a problem, well, a lot of people are using the Realme device by themselves, but what happens sometimes they come across some of the problem. Some people complain while they're using the device, it performs extremely slow and laggish. Some people say, well, it has some ghost touch issues. Some say they can't even turn on their Realme device. Every time they just try to turn it on, it shows them the Realme logo or somehow it gets stuck. No matter what problem that you're currently running through with your Realme device with Realme UI, don't worry, let me go ahead and show you how to solve the problem. Although we have a Narzo 50 device here, but this process will work for every single Realme device. Before we start, keep that in mind, if you follow our process, this will erase everything. I mean, it will, however, do the factor reset for your device. So if you agree to the terms and condition, so let's get started with the process. Now, first off, all you need to do, you need to just turn off your device. That's the first thing that you want to do. So you can press and hold the power button and press on power off. Now, once your device goes completely turned off here, now you want to press that power button and the volume down button for about 20 seconds unless you see the recovery option. So after 20 seconds later, just simply go ahead and let go of this button and wait. Now, once you're on the first screen, well, this is going to tell you to choose your language. So since we understand English, I'll come down here and I'll choose English and I'll press the power button. And now it says Realme UI Recovery. First, you can install that update from your storage. Well, you can update online, you can wipe your data, or you can reboot your device, you can power it off as well. Now, most people, what they do, they actually reboot their device to solve their problem. Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you also can try to give a reboot on your device just to see whether it works or not. Now, if that doesn't help you to solve your problem, well, then you can choose online update. If you want to keep all the information that you have on your storage, doing this process will keep all this information and it will not remove them. However, if you want to just give it a factor reset, if you want to erase every single thing that you have on your device, then you want to choose wipe data. If you want to choose wipe data, you have to come down here and then choose wipe data. Just Press the power button once. Now this is going to show you two different options. First, wipe data and format data. Well, these features also, if you just choose wipe data, this is going to keep some of the things like if you saved anything on your private save or if you have contacts and more, those things will be you know kept. Or if you choose format data, it will erase everything and nothing will be available on your storage. So just go ahead and press the power button. If you agree to formatting your device, now just go ahead and just enter this code or the verification code, which is saying right here. And now just choose format. Now it's going to start wiping off all of your data on your device. Now it says wipe successful, tap on OK, and automatically your device is going to get a restart and it's going to be on the setup screen. Now you got to set up your device as usual and hopefully doing this process will solve all the problem that you are currently going through on your Realme device. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.